Nearly three dozen homeowners in Stratton Park, Pine Acres, and Poudre Fire District have been notified their homes have been destroyed. But officials say that number is far from final. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live at the evacuation center where some of those homeowners are learning the fate of their homes right now. Jacqueline? We're hearing this is a very sad, very emotional meeting. Just in the last five minutes, I talked to the Shipman family. They said, praise the Lord, our cabin was saved. But they said we would trade that. We, are, we would trade our cabin being saved for a home being saved for anyone because they had a second home and they started crying. This has been a very difficult time as people learn that their homes are still standing, learn that their homes were burned, or learn that they are yet still in limbo. Now, before the meeting, we talked to a man named Peter Graham. He was very concerned that fire crews, he had heard rumors, were going to let the fire burn through his neighborhood. And then we spoke to him again after the meeting. Here's what he had to say. I found out that there was going to be a, a line of defense before our subdivision, and even if it gets too bad and they can't defend it there, they will go in and try to remove burnable <laughs> items from around our homes, and if they can't stay there and fight it, they will use helicopters and the, and the bombers to, to drop retardant and water on the homes. And how did you feel when you heard that? I almost got, ch I got choked up because now I know that they're not going to just let our homes burn. They're going to go in there and, and, and fight like heck to try to save them. He was very relieved after he heard that news. But I don't want to sound like a broken record, but a lot of people left frustrated, not having any more answers about when they'll be able to go home. The, the attendance was much smaller in this meeting, only about two to 500 compared to uh, 1,200 yesterday. Tomorrow's meeting, though, is expected to be very large. They will be releasing even more uh, assessment reports, letting people know what they know about their homes. Again, tomorrow's meeting will be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. We know those assessment teams are working as fast as they they can. Thank you, Jacqueline.